even a tiny Miss Rabbit. Boats! Boats! Get your boats here! <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is just one of my many jobs. This looks just like Pirate Island. And there are some pirates. Ha -ha! Ha -ha! <laughs> 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 what was that? Dinosaur. <laughs> this is the land of dinosaurs. Wow! This is how the world looked a long time ago, before houses and cars and stuff. Ah! Here is the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Ooh. And over there is a Triceratops. <laughs> One is a herbivore and the other is a carnivore. <laughs> oh, look! They are playing together, just as they would have done. Amazing! This is exactly as it would have been all those millions of years ago. Except for the train. All aboard! There you are again! Miss Rabbit, driving the train. Full steam ahead! <laughs> Where's it going now? To tiny modern land. <laughs> clickety clack, clickety clack, the train is on the track. Puff and puff, puff and puff, clickety clickety clack. <laughs> <laughs> this is like where we live, Peppa. Yes. There are houses and cars and hills and trees and trains and planes and boats. <laughs> it's a busy world. 24 hour non stop. Stop! Oh, it's broken. No, it's not. Look there. Stop! It's a tiny little Mr. Bull digging up the road. That's what happened to us on our way here. Tiny land is just like the real world, down to every tiny detail. We're digging up the road! <laughs> <laughs> Who can tell me their favourite game? Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. And what do we need to make a muddy puddle? Dirt and water. Dirt and water. Mix them together to make a muddy puddle. Pepper, please test the puddle. This puddle is too dry. Let's add some more water. Please jump again, Pepper. This puddle is just right. Nice and muddy. <laughs> and making muddy puddles is a bit like making concrete. Concrete is what we're using to make your new playground. It starts off wet and soft like mud, then it sets and goes hard forever. Ooh. Right now, it is gloopy like custard. Let me show you. You see? It's very soft. But who can tell me what's going to happen next? The concrete will go hard. Exactly. It will set as hard as rock. Uh, Daddy Pig, I think you should step out of there before... I'll be with you in a moment, Mr Bull. I'm just talking to the children. Yes, but... Uh... You see, the concrete is soft. Still soft. And now... Hard. Wow. All thanks to a bit of simple science. Now, Mr. Bull, uh, what was it you were saying? I was trying to say you should get out before the concrete goes hard. Ah. Daddy Pig is stuck. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I'll have you out in a jiffy. How? I'll dig up the playground. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves being dug out of concrete. Everyone loves being dug out of concrete. It's very exciting. These books are so new, I haven't even opened one yet. Children, Mummy Pig has worked hard to write this book. So we must listen politely, even if it is not very good. Thank you. It's about an onion. Ooh. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. Four seven six eight five nine three. 
Oh. The rest of the book is one big long number. I don't understand. This is not what I wrote. What is 476859? It's nine... George's Happy Mrs Chicken High School. Wow, that is a high school. But where's my funny onion story? It's gone. I'm sorry, children, but I can't read Funny Onion to you today. Oh. Um, can you remember the story, Mummy Pig? Yes. Then just tell us the rest. All right. Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. <laughs> All he wanted was to make people laugh. But he made people cry instead because he was an onion. <laughs> what a beautiful, sad ending. Uh, no, wait, Madam Gazelle. It's not finished. Oh, I see. Carry on. Funny Onion said... I will search the world to learn how to be funny. He met a tomato. The tomato said, wear a funny hat. But people still cried. <laughs> he met a banana who said, wear some funny shoes. But people still cried. <laughs> funny Onion was ready to give up when a pineapple whispered in his ear. What do you think the pineapple said? Wear a funny red nose. Wear a purple wig. Very good. But what the pineapple really said was, do something funny. <laughs> funny Onion did something funny and everyone laughed. They laughed and laughed and laughed. The end. Marvellous. I think it speaks to all of us. Get it down for you. Uh, perhaps I had better help. No, Grandpa. I can do it. Whoops. <laughs> oh, dear. Pepper is covered in mud. I see two little piggies who need a bath. <laughs> George's hat is on top of some reeds in the pond. Lucky for us, your hat is still clean, George. But how do we get it? This is a job for a grown-up. Hmm, I will need a stick. Don't fall in, Grandpa. I know what I'm doing, Pepper. <laughs> I can reach it! I see a big piggy who needs a bath. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Pig, what on earth are you doing? I'm having a cup of tea. No, you're not. Of course I'm not. That was a joke. It is perfectly clear to see that I have fallen into the pond. That was a silly thing to do. Pepper, George, you're both covered in mud too. We were trying to get George's hat back, Granny. Where is George's hat anyway? It's flying in the sky. I will get George's hat back and then you can all get cleaned up. Be careful, Granny. I would use a stick. Thank you, everyone, but it's perfectly fine. I've got boots on. If you walk on that manure, you will sink. Hush, Grandpa. I have no intention of sinking. I can reach it. Got it. Yeah! Oh, dear. Granny Pig is covered in manure. Ooh, smelly Granny Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig has come to pick up Pepper and George. Hello. Grandpa Pig, I thought you promised not to let the children get muddy. I think you will find we promise not to let George's hat get muddy. And it's not muddy. It's perfectly clean. <laughs> yes, I can see. The only clean thing around here is George's woolly hat. We can put George in it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no. I think that might be a bit dangerous. Aww. Maybe Dolly would like to be the pilot. But Granny said I should look after Dolly. Dolly will be fine. OK. <laughs> Let's see what it can do. The toy aeroplane is doing a loop-the-loop. -loop. 
Dolly! Oh no, Dolly has fallen out of the plane. No need to panic. Hooray! Let's try something even more exciting. Watch out for the house, Grandpa! Oh, it's fine. The door is open. Now, where is that juice? What was that? Aha! You see, I know what I'm doing. Clever, Grandpa! Now, I just need to land it. Gently does it. for everyone. Ah, Granny Pig. Perfect timing. What is that? Um, it's a toy aeroplane. A big toy aeroplane. Yes, I can see that. Grandpa did some fancy flying. And Dolly, did you enjoy your playtime with Pepper and George? Grandpa put Dolly in the aeroplane. Yes, yes. We've all had a lovely time. Yes, Grandpa. <laughs> Pepper and George love toy aeroplanes. Everybody loves toy aeroplanes. A magic bathroom. There's a little basin with little taps. And that's not all. A magic toilet. I wonder what this button is for. Ah. <laughs> Daddy has found the magic shower! <laughs> Hello, passports please. Of course. Ah, you are Mr. Pig? The Mr. Pig. You must be coming to test our concrete. Uh, yes. Do you know me? Oh, your work in concrete is famous in our country. Oh, but I have disturbed you. Good night. Uh, good night. It is bedtime. Night-night, <gasps> Pepper and George. Night-night, my little piggies. Night-night! Pepper and George are tucked up in their little beds on the train. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, the train runs on the track. Half and puff, half and puff, ba da 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 boop, boop. It is morning and time for breakfast on the train. Good morning. Miss Rabbit, aren't you meant to be driving the train? It's fine. The train runs on rails. It can't get lost. Would you like coffee or orange juice? I'd like both, please. No, coffee or orange juice. You can't have both. I don't think we have to be so strict with the famous Mr Pig. Coffee and orange juice. Thank you. Excuse me, I am King Alfonso. Could I have a coffee and orange juice too? No, that is impossible. Pepper and her family have arrived at the end of their long train journey. We are honored to have your visit, Mr. Pig. Thank you. Here is the concrete for you to test. Daddy Pig is an expert at concrete. Hmm. Very good. Hooray! It's coming from the tree. It's Tiddles the tortoise. Naughty Tiddles, come down at once. I can shake the tree to get Tiddles down. Is that a good idea, Pedro? Don't worry, I am Super Pedro. Ow! Oh dear, what has happened? Tiddles fell on Pedro's nose. My nose hurts. Poor Pedro, I will call for the doctor. Dr Brown Bear speaking. A bumped nose, you say? I'll be right there. Hello, where is the patient? Here. My nose hurts. I see. Say, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, you need a plaster. There. That will make it better. Hooray! My glasses don't work. Pedro's glasses are all muddy. 
Oh, Dr. Brown Bear, can you fix Pedro's glasses? No, I can't. You'll need an optician for that. An optician is a doctor who knows about glasses. My daddy's an optician. Hello, Dr. Pony speaking. <gasps> a pair of glasses not working, you say? I'm on my way. Hello, Daddy. Hello, son. What seems to be the problem? My glasses aren't working. Can you read this chart? No, my glasses aren't working. Why, these glasses just need a good clean. <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> yes. Thank you, Daddy. Dr Pony has fixed Pedro's glasses. Hooray! Hooray! Thank you, Doctors. Everything is back to normal. Hello. We're just going out for a sail. It's a bit early for sailing. Yes. You can't go sailing now. Thank you for your advice. See you later. Grandpa, your friend said that we can't go sailing yet. They don't know what they're talking about. Oh, bother. Grandpa's boat is stuck in the mud. There's no water, Grandpa. Uh, yes. The tide seems to be out. So we can't go sailing? Don't worry. The water will come back again soon and the boat will rise up. The water is coming back. It certainly is. The water is lifting Grandpa's boat out of the mud. <laughs> Bobbing up and down. Let's go sailing. Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa. <laughs> Off we go. <laughs> I love sailing. Oh, hi there, Grandpa Pig. Are you OK, though? Do you need any help or advice, old chap? We're doing just fine, thank you. Bye. Grandpa, they're going quicker than us. There's no need to hurry when you're sailing. <laughs> We're bobbing up and down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. A bobbing, 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 bobbing up and down. The boat bobs up and down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi there, Grandpa Pig. Time to head back if you don't want to miss the tide. If you leave it too late, you'll get stuck in the mud. Ha-ha! <laughs> right you are. <sniffs> Goodbye. I don't listen to them. I know more about the tides than they ever will. <laughs> the boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up. Oh, we've stopped bobbing. Ah, the tide seems to have gone out. We must have washed these clothes a thousand times. Georgie's clothes have got holes in them. When you wash clothes a thousand times, they get holes in them. <laughs> <laughs> I can see your bottom, George. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's time we got George some new clothes. Mummy Pig is taking Pepper and George to the clothes shop. Hello, Mummy Pig. Hello, Miss Rabbit. How can I help you? We need some new clothes for George, please. <coughs> well, you're in luck. This is a clothes shop. <laughs> First, we need to measure you. <coughs> now hold your arms out. George thinks you're going to tickle him. I promise I won't tickle you, George. Very good. What a big, strong boy you are. <laughs> you see, George, Miss Rabbit didn't tickle you, did she? No, but I will. <laughs> George loves being tickled. Right, let's find George some new clothes. How about this? It will keep you very warm. Ooh. If George would kindly go into the changing booth, please. George is wearing a big, thick, woolly jumper. You look cuddly, George. Hmm, <coughs> I don't think white is the best colour for puddle jumping. Hmm, this isn't white. It's every other colour but white. George, you look like a clown. No. George does not want to look like a clown. 
Hmm, too much colour. What about this then? Now you look like a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's still not really George. Hmm, what about this then? Basically, it's what you had before. Oh, yes. <laughs> George, you look like you. Wow, it's hot. Have you got any water? Too right. We all need water. Water is a precious thing in the outback, so don't... Ah, nice and cool. Waste it. Daddy, you have to drink it, not splash it around. Ah. No worries. Let's cook up a good old-fashioned Australian picnic. Oh, sounds lovely. Should we collect wood for the campfire? You don't need wood when you've got gas. Mr Kangaroo has a gas barbecue. When we have a picnic, Mrs Duck always shows up. Ah, there's no chance of Mrs Duck showing up in the middle of a desert. No. Oh. It is a duck-billed platypus. Mrs Duck-billed platypus always shows up when we have picnics. <laughs> Food's ready. Corn on the cob for everyone. Hooray! Pepper likes corn on the cob. Everyone likes corn on the cob. I think it's time for a game. Sure thing. I've brought a cricket bat. Oh, do you play cricket in Australia? Do we play cricket? We're born playing cricket. Cricket! <laughs> How do you play it? You hit the ball with the bat. Ah! If we catch it, you're out. Ready, Dad? You're out, Dad. Ha-ha! <laughs> You'll go, Pepper. <laughs> Good shot, Pepper. <laughs> oh, dear. The ball has landed in the tree. It's the only tree for miles, and our ball gets stuck in it. <laughs> if I lift you up, Pepper, can you see the ball? Uh, a teddy bear is holding on to it. That's not a teddy bear, Pepper. That's a koala. Thanks, mate. That is the sweetest animal I've ever seen. <laughs> but you are sweet too, Mrs. Duckbill Platypus. Could you give your horn a tiny little toot so that we can all... Yes, that should be sufficient to alert the public of your approach. Now for the last bit of the lesson. Where is he going? Police officer Panda is driving to the bottom of the hill. Calling police officer Squirrel. Over. Can you read me? Over. Read you loud and clear. Over. The police have special phones to talk to each other. I'm in position. Over. Now, when I blow my whistle, I want you all to cycle down the hill and use your brakes to not bump into Police Officer Panda. OK! <laughs> They're on their way. Over. I see them coming. Over. <laughs> Very good braking, everyone. Are you ready for Madame Gazelle? Over. Send her down. Over. Uh, I don't think I need to do this. I am the teacher and I wasn't Off supposed you to go. be taught. Ooh. Ears and eyes open. Ears and eyes open. Yes. This is fun. Ring your bell. Oh, yes. Ring bell. Brakes! Oh, yes, brakes! Well done. And that's how to ride your bicycles safely. Children, thank the police for taking time off from their important work to talk to us today. Thank you! You're very welcome. When I grow up, I want to be a policeman. And what is it about being a policeman that you like? I like blowing whistles. <whistles> Very good. But of course, there's more to being a police officer than blowing whistles. Oh, yes. We're always very busy. We do lots of very important things, like... Uh... The police solve mysteries and drive cars with flashing lights. Nina, Nina, woo! Spot on, Freddy. Right, 
We really must be on our way. And remember, always keep your ears and eyes open. <laughs> oh. Who put that tree there? Yes, it's not a safe place to put a tree. I'll make a note. Dangerous tree on public highway. <laughs> Next piece of music is a little bit different. Remember, I want you to listen to it carefully and think about how it makes you feel. This music is about space. <laughs> it's an alien birthday party. Oh, what is wrong with this machine? <laughs> Robots from the future. <laughs> Hello, I'm an alien. Bleep, bleep, bloop, bloop. I am a robot. I am a robot. Zing, zong, zing. <laughs> this is the best music yet. No, no, I think the machine is broken. There. Oh. Now tell me, how does this make you feel? It makes me feel a bit bored. <sighs> It makes me feel tired. Has the music machine gone wrong again? No, this is music. It reminds me of a lovely garden on a hot summer day. A young man, a broken heart. Please, can we have the space music again? Th that was not music, it was the machine gone wrong. Do you not like this music? No. Madam Gazelle, can you make the machine go wrong again? No. Oh. I suppose we cannot all like the same things in life. I liked the space music. And me. me. And, and me. me. And me. And me. OK, OK, what does this music make you think of? I know, I know. This music makes me think of jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> this way. <laughs> Follow me, everyone. <laughs> jumping up and down in Puddles, splish, splash, splash, splish, splash. With a big splash here and a big splash there. Here a splash, there a splash, everywhere a splish, splash. Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Splish, splash, splash, splish, splash. You just need a bit more practice, George. Watch me. Wow! Oops, I'll just get the ball back. Hello, Mummy Pig. Uh, can we have our ball back, please? Yes, but please play more carefully in future. Yes, Mummy Pig. Sorry, Mummy Pig. Here is Danny Dog. What are you doing? We're playing bat and ball. My daddy is very good at it. He batted the ball all the way into the house. Well, can I play bat and ball too? Uh, maybe it's time for a different garden game. Like what? Limbo! What's limbo when it's at home? I'll show you. I know. You jump over it. It's much too high to jump over. Ho, ho! We go under the limbo pole and we need music to do it. <laughs> Daddy Pig is very good at limbo. Wow! Ah, but now we'll put the pole a bit lower. <laughs> OK. Oh! Daddy, your tummy is too big to go under the pole. My tummy is not too big. I just can't bend like I used to. <laughs> <laughs> My turn. And me. And me. <laughs> Well done, everyone. Now we'll put the pole even lower. Ooh. Easy, Daddy. <laughs> it's impossible. Nobody can go under that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. George can do it. Hooray! George is the best at limbo dancing because he is I can't see anything. Oh, oh, Daddy Pig, there's a fish right in front of you. Where? Whoa! 
It is a very big fish. Wow! <laughs> Do you think this fish could be a friend for Goldie? No, it is too big. Never mind. Let's go to the next room. What's in this tank? I saw. George thinks he has seen a dinosaur. It's not a dinosaur, George. It's a funny kind of fish called a seahorse. You know lots about fish. Yes, I like fish. <laughs> Can the seahorse be Goldie's friend? Uh, no. It's too dinosaur-y. One more room to go. Oh, what's in this tank? Nothing. It's just green slime. Look. That green slime is algae. There must be some sort of fish in here. Whoa! There's a fish with big, long ears. It's a rabbit fish. It is Miss Rabbit, wearing a diving costume. Ooh. She is cleaning the fish tank. <coughs> Miss Rabbit is saying hello. <coughs> it is difficult to talk underwater. <coughs> hello, Miss Rabbit! That was the last fish tank. We haven't found a friend for Goldie. What's in the next room? This is the Aquarium Cafe. Oh, goody. My favourite room. Hello, Peppa. Did you find a friend for Goldie? No. Oh, who's that? That's just Ginger, my pet goldfish. He loves the aquarium. Ho, oh, oh. ho. It looks like Goldie's found a friend after all. Goldie isn't lonely anymore. Hooray! <laughs> ah, holiday. Daddy Pig is up bright and early. I'll just go for a little walk. Ah! Good morning, Mr Pig. I see you have found the swimming pool. This is Signor Goat. It is his job to look after the holiday house. <laughs> Daddy fell in the water. It's not funny. It is quite funny, Daddy. Ho, oh, oh. ho. I suppose it is a bit funny. This is my daughter. Hello, I'm Gabriella Gott. I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> Tell us if you need anything at all. We'd like to do some sightseeing. The village is very pretty. I will show you. OK. I'll just change out of these wet clothes. I don't look like a tourist, do I? You look perfect. Is everybody ready? Yes, Daddy Pig! Then let's go! <laughs> this is Gabriella's village. <laughs> Here is the shop of my auntie. Can I send a postcard? Who is it for? A goldfish. A goldfish? Maybe a postcard of the sea. Yes. Goldie the fish likes water. Bongo drums, carpets, garden gnomes. Who buys all this rubbish? Tourists. Oh, hello. Buongiorno. Mummy Pig is buying lots of things to take home. Mummy Pig, we haven't got room for all this in our suitcase. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. They sell suitcases too. This is the village cafe. Ciao, Gabriela. My uncle makes very good pizza. You eat pizza in Italy? Pizza is Italian food. Oh, goody. I like pizza. A little bit of tomato, a little bit of cheese, into the oven and... Into my tummy. <laughs> Maybe we'll let them cook first, no? OK. <coughs> no, George. You can't play with the car keys. You might lose them. Car keys, Daddy. But I'm a grown-up. I'm not going to lose them. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig has dropped the car keys down a drain. Oh. oh. Right. Let's go home. Um, that might be difficult. Why? Daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh, Daddy Pig. Don't worry. 
I'll get the keys out of the drain with a stick. Hooray! Hmm. The drain must be deeper than I thought. The stick is not long enough to reach the keys. What we need is a fishing rod. Then we can catch the keys on a hook. Maybe Miss Rabbit sells fishing rods. Uh, do you sell fishing rods? We do, actually. I don't know why. You don't get fish in the mountains. We're not fishing for fish. We're fishing for keys. My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh, you'll never get those back. That drain's really deep. What are drains for? A drain takes the rainwater away to the sea. The fishing line is not long enough to reach the keys. My goodness! How deep is this drain? We can see how deep it is by dropping a stone. Good idea, Miss Rabbit. We can count how long the stone takes to reach the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is deep. Told you. What can we do now? It is Mr Pool and his friends. Digger! Crane! George loves diggers and cranes. Hello, everybody! Hello, Hello Mr. Mr Bull. Bull. Welcome to the Mountain Beauty Spot. Have you come to do some work? No! It's our day off, so we came to enjoy the beauty spot. Yeah. Can we find a little place for this? Uh, no. What is it, Granny? It's a plastic gnome, Pepper, and he's going to live in our garden. Oh, no, he isn't. There's no room. There's plenty of room. What about here? I can't have that ugly thing looking at me all day. Pepper, George, do you think my gnome looks ugly? No, Granny. I think he looks cute. <laughs> There, Grandpa. You're outnumbered. The gnome stays. Ah! And here come the rest of them. What? Mr Bull is bringing Mr Gnome a truckload of new friends. Yippee! But gardens are for plants, not plastic. Moo! Where do you want the gnomes? We don't want gnomes, thank you. Oh! Goodbye. No! Naughty Grandpa Pig. Those are Granny Pig's gnomes. Oh, it appears we do want gnomes. Okie dokie! They're lovely! Use this as well. Cheerio! Thank you, Mr Bull. Goodbye. Bye-bye. What's this? A giant gnome? No, Grandpa. It's a well. What is a well? A well, Pepper, is a very deep hole with water in it. Ooh. And as it happens, I do need water for my garden, so a well will be useful. But that is not a well. It's made of plastic and there's no hole. It's beautiful. What's the point of a well without water? It's a wishing well. You throw a coin into it and make a wish. Can I make a wish, Granny? Of course, Pepper. Here's a little coin. I wish, I wish, I wish. Pepper likes playing with twinkle toes. Whoops! Perhaps you should play with the toy horse outside. Yes, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. It's a bit steep here. Maybe you should play at the bottom of the hill. And the quickest way down the hill is to ride down. Are you sure, Daddy? Don't crash like you always do. Ho, ho. I know what I'm doing, Pepper. I'm a grown-up. Yeah! How are you going to stop, Daddy? Uh, I don't know. Ah. Where are the brakes? <laughs> Clever, Daddy. You use the duck pond to stop. What was that big splash? What big splash? Daddy Pig, did you know you've got a duck on your head? Oh, uh, yes. Well, I did fall in the pond. 
<laughs> horsey, horsey. George wants to ride on the toy horse. Go, go. Oh. George cannot make the horse go. If only there was someone big and strong to push George along. I'm big and strong. I can push George. What a good idea, Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> horsey, horsey! George! She's called Twinkle Toes! Horsey! Twinkle Toes! Horsey! <laughs> I know! Because the present is for both of us, we'll call her Horsey Twinkle Toes! <laughs> Pepper and George love playing together with Horsey Twinkle Toes! <laughs> George, in the world there are two sorts of balloons, the up balloon and the down balloon. That is an up balloon. If you let it go, it will go up and up and up all the way to the moon. Moon. <coughs> Grandpa. Oh. Got you. <laughs> Perhaps we should go indoors before we lose your balloon, George. Your balloon will be safe in here. Hello, Polly. George has got a new balloon. Ah, oh, balloon! <laughs> Don't you pop it, Polly. George loves his balloon. <laughs> oh. George has let go of his balloon again. Don't worry, George. It won't fly away because the roof is in the way. Oh, it's gone through the door. It's going up the stairs. It's going into the attic. Don't worry. There's only one way out of the attic, and that is through the roof window, which is always kept closed. Oh, dear. The roof window is not closed. Catch it, Grandpa! I can't, Pepper. It's in the sky. George, your balloon is going to the moon. You'll never see it again. Daddy Pig has come to take Pepper and George home. Hello. Have you had a lovely time? Um, we bought George a dinosaur <laughs> balloon. But George let it go and it's flying to the moon. I was a little bit lonely up there with just the moon and the stars. And the most exciting bit was... What's the most exciting bit, Grumpy Rabbit? I can't hear you. <laughs> Why has he stopped talking? Oh dear, Grumpy Rabbit has lost his voice. I had better ring Dr. Brown Bear. Dr. Brown Bear speaking. Hello, Dr. Brown Bear. Grumpy Rabbit has lost his voice. Is that such a bad thing? Yes. He's giving an important talk about space rockets to the children. Oh, in that case, I'll be straight there. <laughs> Hello, Grampy Rabbit. I hear you've lost your voice. <coughs> Say ah, please. <coughs> I see, yes, a very serious case of losing a voice. Too much shouting, I imagine. Let's see if a little bit of medicine helps. Open wide. Try saying, ah, now. <coughs> Louder. <coughs> That's better! <laughs> Not back to normal! Back getting there! Hooray! Now, where was I? You were just about to tell us the most exciting bit. Oh, yes! The most exciting bit was I wrote a song. Uh, would you like to hear it? No, no thank, thank you. you. Yes, please! I got up this morning 
and all I could see was the moon and the stars. The moon, the stars, the moon, the stars, the moon, the stars, the moon, the stars. It's very good of you to steer the boat, Grampy Rabbit. Uh, but I'm not steering the boat. I thought somebody else was. Oh dear. No one is steering the boat. We're lost at sea. And look, Grampy Rabbit's boat is sinking. Don't panic! I've been in worse situations than this. Really? No. This is the worst. Uh, oh, 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 oh. We're saved! But we're stuck on a desert island! With just the sea and the sky for company. And we haven't got any food. Ooh, I've got a chocolate bar. Good. We should save the chocolate in case we get hungry later. Oh dear. Grampy Rabbit has eaten all the food. What a terrible place to be stuck. Is anyone else missing cheese? We've only been here five minutes, Grampy Rabbit. I'm going to put a mark in the sand for every time I think about cheese. We need to call for help. Call for help? What an excellent idea! Grampy Rabbit is very good at shouting. What was that? That was the call of the sea. Someone is in trouble. What can we do? We'll rescue them. We can use Grandad Dog's boat. Wait a minute. I said I'd never get on a boat again. But, Daddy, they need rescuing. You're right. Just this once. I shall sail again. Life jacket's on. Oh, oh Captain, Captain Dog. Full sail. All our food is gone. There's nothing left to eat. There must be something to eat. Ahoy there! Hooray! We're, We're saved! Oh dear, George has dropped his sponge in a muddy puddle. <laughs> George, you're making the car all muddy again. <laughs> I will wash the mud off. Pepper, don't use the <laughs> muddy water. Oh dear, Pepper has thrown the muddy water all over the car. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. We can use the garden hose to clean it off. Yes, yes. <laughs> can I hold the hose? <laughs> 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 Pepper holds the hose, and Daddy Pig turns on the water. Where's the water? Go, <laughs> oh, Pepper, stop! Sorry, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> no need to panic. Oh dear, everyone is wet. <laughs> At least the car has been washed. We've all been washed. <laughs> <laughs> you go and dry yourselves while I polish the car. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Daddy Pig is polishing the car so well he can see his face in it. <laughs> what a funny face. <laughs> oh, more funny faces. <laughs> it's Pepper and George. Oh. <laughs> and Mummy Pig. What a lovely shiny car. Yes, I am a bit of an expert at these things. George! Oh dear, George's hiccups are spoiling the game. George, I know how to cure hiccups. You have to do what I say. 
Rub the top of your head and rub your tummy. Good. Now your hiccups have gone. Pepper's cure for hiccups doesn't seem to have worked. George, you have done it all wrong. I know a better way to cure hiccups. First, jump up and down three times on one leg. Now, wave your arms up and down and stick your tongue out. <coughs> and now, close your eyes and turn around quickly three times. Pepper's new cure hasn't worked either. George still has hiccups. I know. To cure hiccups, the ill piggy must be given a shock. George, I'm going to scare you, but you must remember, it's only a game and it'll stop your hiccups. Remember, this is just pretend scaring. Peppa, you mustn't play so roughly with George. He's only little. Sorry, Mummy. I was just trying to stop George's hiccups. George's hiccups have gone. Peppa, pick me! Pick me! But, Daddy, you're not very good at running. I was very good when I was a little piggy. But now you have a big tummy. But I can still touch my toes. <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> All right, Daddy. But you must run very fast. <laughs> the mummies and daddies will run the first part of the race and then hand the batons to the children. Mummies and daddies. Ready, steady, go. <laughs> run, 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 run. Daddy Pig is in the lead. Come on, Daddy! Come on, Daddy! Thank you, Daddy. You did very well. Now it's my turn to Pepper, take... stop talking and run! Oh! <laughs> Keep on running! Keep on running! Go on! And the winner is Emily Elephant. Hooray! <laughs> Oh, Daddy, I haven't won a prize yet. Don't worry, Peppa. There's still one more event. And now for the last event of the day. The tug of war. Boys against girls. <laughs> when I say go, you must pull the rope with all your strength. The girls will win. <laughs> no, they won't. The boys will win. Ready, steady. Come on, boys! Come on, pull! Come on, the girls! Pull! I am pulling! Everyone is pulling so hard, the rope is breaking. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> and the result is a draw. So both teams win. Hooray! I love the school sports day, especially when I win a prize. Pepper isn't under the bed. What was that strange noise? Pepper isn't behind the curtain. There is that strange noise again. What can it be? George has found where Pepper was hiding. <laughs> George found me. Now it's Daddy's turn to hide. Oh, I think George should have another turn. <laughs> but George isn't very good at hiding. I'm sure he'll be better this time. Close your eyes and start counting. One. Two. Oh, three. dear. 
Pepper will easily Four. find George. Five. George. Six. Come over here. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ready or not, here I come. Oh. George isn't hiding under the table. But George always hides under the table. Have you thought of looking upstairs? I know where he is. George is in the toy basket. Oh. George is not in the toy basket. Where can he be? Pepper cannot find George anywhere. Daddy, I can't find George anywhere. Oh dear, I wonder where he can be. <laughs> Actually, I think there's something about George in this newspaper. <laughs> George! Found you! <laughs> Bread, carrots, and... What's wrong? You talk too much. You go, blah, 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 blah. Just like that. Blah, blah, blah. Mummy, Susie said I talk too much. Well, you are a bit of a chatterbox, Pepper. Chatterbox? That's right. Chatterbox here, chatterbox there. Chatter, chatter, chatter. You never stop talking. I can easily stop talking if I want to. No, you can't. Yes, I can. You can't. I can. You can't. That's it. I'm never going to talk again. Hello, Susie. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Hello, Zoe. You look nice today. Thank you, Susie. This is my new dress. Why are you not talking, Pepper? Yes, why are you not talking, Pepper? <gasps> this is a silly game. What game are you playing? Susie said I was a chatterbox and I could never be quiet. You're not being very quiet now, are you? <laughs> right, I'm not going to talk ever again. Starting. Now! Hello, everyone. Hello, Danny. Hello, Danny. What's the matter with Peppa? She's not talking. Oh, who wants a grape? Me, please. Me, please. Mmm! Mmm! You can't nod your head. That's cheating. And you can't blink. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Pedro. Pedro. What's the matter with Peppa? She's never going to talk ever again. Why? Because she talks too much. I do not talk too much. Anyway, you're always walking like this. Oh, look at me. I'm Susie Sheep. See what I mean? And you say this. Mickey Macky Boo Ba Boo. That's nothing like me. It is a bit like you, Susie. You're just as noisy as me. You were doing it all wrong. This is the proper way to swing across. Stand back. Ready, steady, go! Whee! Look at me! I'm flying like a bird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't get out. Pepper is stuck in the tyre. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. Well, it does look a bit funny. <laughs> we'll have to pull you out. <laughs> Pepper's friends are helping to free her. <laughs> everyone. <laughs> George, do you want to play on the climbing frame? <laughs> the climbing frame is quite high. George does not like being up high. <laughs> Sorry, George. Let's play on the slide. Yes, the slide. 
slide. <laughs> Peppa loves the slide. Everyone loves the slide. Mummy, Daddy, look at me. Ready, steady, go. Wee. <laughs> Wee. George wants to play on the slide. Are you sure, George? It is a bit high. <sniffs> All right, I'll help you up the steps. <laughs> oh dear, it is a bit too high for George. <laughs> Don't worry, George. I'll slide down with you. Daddy, you're too big to go down the slide. Don't be silly, Pepper. I'm not too big. <sniffs> Stand back. Ready? Steady, go! <gasps> Daddy Pig is stuck. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> it looks very funny, Daddy. <sighs> I suppose it is a bit funny. <laughs> we'll have to push you down. Hey! <laughs> 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 Peppa? I've hurt my knee. Whee! Madam Gazelle, Peppa has fallen over. You've just grazed your knee, Peppa. First, Madam Gazelle cleans Peppa's knee. Then she puts a plaster on it. Does that feel any better? Yes, thank you. Now, children, you may have noticed that Pedro Pony isn't here today. Is he late again? No, Susie. Pedro is in hospital. Ooh. And today, we are going to visit him. This is the hospital. Peppa and her friends have come to visit Pedro Pony. Remember, children, stay close to me. I don't want you getting lost. Yes, Madam Gazelle. Excuse me, Mr. Bull. Which way is the children's ward? Down the steps, double doors, right, left, right, along the corridor, up the stairs, third on your left. Ah. Or you could just take the lift. <laughs> Children's ward. <laughs> Pedro will be asleep. Sick people do a lot of sleeping. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Pedro. Pedro. Why aren't you asleep? You don't look sick. I broke my leg and they put it in this plaster cast. Wow. The plaster cast helps Pedro's leg get better. I grazed my knee and I got a plaster too. Wow. Do you want to draw on my plaster cast? Yes, please. The children are all doing drawings on Pedro's plaster cast. I'm drawing a football. I've drawn some flowers. Mr. Potato. A carrot. <laughs> and I've drawn a muddy puddle. Wow. Thanks, everyone. You can draw on my plaster too. OK, I'll draw a little flower. Thank you, Pedro. <laughs> <laughs>